Hello, welcome to Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Here we are again on a Monday night from 7 o'clock. And we're looking at our, another bunch of um, horror games. Horror, horror-y games? I'm assuming the horror games based on their names. Mostly. Um, we've got a whole bunch of consoles to cover tonight. Uh, we're having a, another look at a DS game. We don't do much DS because it's a pain in the ass with the two screens. Um, we've got some Mega Drive, some Saturn, Touchwood maybe, um, and some PlayStation Plus. So, um, a, a Nightmare Before Christmas um, t-shirt, and uh, topped with um, uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party shirt. So, with uh, pumpkins. Yes, so I need enough about my shirt. Let's uh, boop over across to the other screen and let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, there we are. Oh, look at that. I've almost got a screen ready for you. Bloody hell. Um, so, yeah, we're starting with the Game Boy Advance. Um, it needs to go up and to the left a little bit, I think, because it... There we go. This is a game called Hugo the Evil Mirror advance so let's let's see what it is shall we i should mention turned on the trusty old pad earlier on and it didn't come on and yet i did, did give it a charge last week so i'm a little bit worried about it but it's on charge at the moment and we're going to be playing with the um the modded n64 one for now would maybe change later on. Okay, you'll have to give us a shout if it's too loud or anything like that. Hmm. I feel like I've seen her face before somewhere. Just not sure where. It's very pixely, isn't it? So ice cubes by pressing the B button. Punch them around also by pressing the B button. Okay. I'm sure we'll work it out. Although sometimes we don't do it. We don't work it out. We're confused. Beaver there. Oh. So do we, where do we need to push him? Uh, so, how am I going to get that one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Get up there. Quite as horrory as I anticipated when um, when it's called the evil mirror. Gonna get that one. Thank you. 
Okay, shall we, we'll do one more, perhaps? Naughty Gloucester, welcome. Thank you for subscribing again. 29 months. What a streak. I've got another one up there, I didn't even know about him. Let's go up and take care of him, shall we? Yeah. Right, okay, I think, I think. We've probably played enough Hugo the Evil Mirror. Um, but I'm going to pause it because, you know, it is a sort of game that I might find myself having a quick go on if I've got a spare five minutes. You know what it's like. Um, okay. There you go. Hugo the Evil Mirror. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the big screen and we're going to put on Garfield's Nightmare again it's featuring on this list because um, Nightmare is in the title not the only game that's featuring tonight because it's got Nightmare in the title but we'll get to that um, okay, let me get you a screen and then organise it so it looks decent. There we go. Now, now that looks like it might actually be all right straight away. Look, look at that. Wow. Uh, okay, so let's see what's in Garfield's Nightmare. Oh, oh, okay. Why is my controller not working? Is still switched on. That's good. Um, mm, mm, and yes. Oh, it's not configured. Why is that? A, B. X, Y. Left trigger. Left trigger. Start. 
What can we use for select? Let's have that one there. Lid and mic are options here. Um, I think we're just not going to bother. Oh, shit. Well, I've just changed the start button now by doing that. So start, select, lid, <sighs> mic. Okay, that, that, that should do. That should do. Should it? Yeah. Oh, we got mini games. Look at them after we've played the real game. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a 3D jumping game, is it? Garfield Castlevania in it. Jump on a ball. Guess we'll find out. Again, I've not really checked how loud this is. 
in the in the past we used to have it quite quiet. But then we played a few games that were a bit quieter and we turned it up a little bit, so I don't know. Don't know anymore. There's a donut up there, how do I get to that? Oops, a few donuts. Ah, I feel I should drop off. Oh, I didn't need to. <laughs> oh, I can. I can coin them. It's kind of phrase. really slow. <sighs> oh! Dickhead. I'm so excited getting all those... Um, those donuts all at once. Gah. all that freaking crawling again. Oh, I thought I'd get past it. Bastard. <laughs> it's, it's not that I'm playing angry or anything. It's not. Is it going to put me right back at the start?
you don't even need to go down into those pits to get them. Keep forgetting that you can jump on them. And I can jump on him. Trying to get out of the way. Also saying this is the most I've seen Garfield move. It's like, yeah, he is he's quite active for the Garfield we know and love. Although all this movement is under the guise of it actually being a, a dream. Maybe that's why it's Garfield's nightmare, because there's so much movement going on. down there though, wasn't there? <laughs> oh, I jumped on him then. What a load of rubbish. Oh. Now what? 
Why have we got a big jumpy jump? Is that to get back up that way? Oh, I see pizza. And that'll teach me for being a greedy big bastard. One of the mini games, isn't it? Keep forgetting we've got mini games to have a look at. Donuts. Did, did I say something happens at 100 donuts? Oh no, we've done this before. Oh, of course. It just goes around, gives you an extra life. Just walk through the door. I see. Gotcha. Although, I bet there's donuts up there, isn't there? do something with that, don't I? What do I have to do, do you reckon? That's what I have to do. Oh yeah. Balloons. I think I can do that. Can I? There you go, balloons. Uh, okay, so we've played uh, a substantial amount. 
and we've still got um, still got mini games to have a look at quickly. So let's do that. Oh, you have to unlock them. Well, that's fair enough. Stuff that. <sighs> okay, well, there you go. That was Garfield's Nightmare. I would say nearly 20 minutes on that is, uh, is a sufficient amount. You can't say we've not played it enough. Um, always a big fan of Garfield. Do like Garfield. But there he goes. Off into the wilderness. So we're going to swap our screens back now because we're going to uh, Mega Drive games. Yes, Mega Drive. So, so what are we going to do first is King of the Monsters. Um, it's in the queue because it's got monster in its title. Will it have something to do with big monsters like Godzilla or some such? Maybe. Maybe. We shall find out. Okay, so this screen is too big for the telly screen, I mean. So let's get it. Send that for you. And then we need to do it up and to the left. There you go. King of the Monsters. Oh, we're going to have to map. We're going to have to map. Oh, it didn't. Mega Drive. Gonna have to do it for each one. That's annoying. And annoying. What's a mode? What's a mode button? I don't remember. A, B, C, X. Y, Z. And I think that will probably do. I wish there was a way of making sure they saved, but. Oh, it's okay. It's a. Kaiju Batley Fest, is it? I'll just be the default guy, see what it is. Oh no. I don't know, it's weird. It feels like my actions aren't related to the buttons I'm pressing. Mm, I'm getting the, the, the tech. I don't know why I'm running off. I don't know how I'm making it do that. should get away from me really and see what my uh, buttons do.
Oh, so I think I've got the whale, uh, the, the whale tip, the tail whip sorted. Go on, he's got to be down in a bit. Get out of it, rebel scum. Well, it's nice that they follow proper wrestling rules and a count of three means they're not going to get up and attack you again. That's nice. Nice. Polite. So we need to cause damage then by the looks of it. evil backhander there, Ronnie. I don't, I don't have anything that I can do against him by the looks of it. Quite a beast. So I see what they do. They let you beat the first one, and then the second one beats the living tar out of you. Even my twerking move doesn't work on him. Get up, get up, get up. I'm trying, I'm trying. See, and this is why we played the other games for a lot longer because uh, there's no way we're going to be playing this for 20 minutes. not continue and then we're just gonna just see what all the buttons do okay so we only need a b and c really so we've got punch, kick, and one of the other ones that I had for run, by the looks of it. Okay. Beam. Don't think I did that one this last time. Right, let's try a different... 
fella. -er. So, so, A is punch, B. I'm guessing we're picking these up. Pressing A and B, do I not have a beam as well? Come on, fella, get up, get up, get up, get up, fella, get up. This time, am I? Dear, oh dear. Despicable. Fool should at least try one more monster. What happened? He made a stone. Why does he need to take deep breaths? Come on. Hey! Stop it. Oh, Godzilla with you. Unicorn Godzilla.
great. I'd love to tell you how I did that, but I don't know. Was a better way of throwing. Okay, enough, enough. That was King of the Monsters on the Mega Drive. Now, a bit of a confession with this next one. I put it on the list because we've never played it. Um, only to find that we have played it before, but on a different system with a different name. Um, but I quite like it. So we're not going to spend a massive amount of time on it because we have already covered it. Um, in fact, I think we might have covered it twice before because I think it appeared in a in a, um, a hack episode. Uh, but 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 we are going to play a game variously known as Zombies. Zombies ate my neighbours and other such titles like that. Um, if you've been with us a long time, you might recognise this game. So I'm assuming it's... Um, are you like a where in the world it is it's got different names in different countries trees right why can't I get them am I not low enough oh weird uh, okay so where do we need to go now perhaps need to get that key probably of some use is it is it who knows Perhaps we're not in the best place. Oh, oh where's my jump? Oh. 
In fact, I think there's, we've played a sequel as well, or a prequel, or I'm sure we've played a different game set in a mansion with a similar vibe to this. Assumes that's money. through a wall with an arch or something. Ooh. Oh no, do I have to go all the way back? Oh, I might. Oh shit, did I come this way? So I started, didn't it? Good. <sighs> right, so this is the only way over. No, I don't think... Oh, I can't go that way. So let's go up this way instead. It's very sensitive with its um, trigger that, like, when you're picking stuff up, you have to be right on it. Oh, why did it let me come down here if there's nothing down here? How do we get in there then? Oh. bonus for saving everybody but I thought that was how you got onto the next stage Thank you. 
Oh, can't shoot them. Shit. Ooh ha. So those runny shoes to make me move faster. Not noticeably. Right, so that's a lady in this shop. Ooh, you can't shoot them. Get in that part. Bitch. Okay, okay. So, Houston, we're back to this door where we don't have. So, how do we get? Where's the key? Be around there somewhere, huh? Oh shit. Where the bloody hell did I get that from? So I do need to get in there. It's a bit shit. I don't want a rocket launcher. It's rubbish. So we've been in there and I didn't see a key. So where else is there going to be a key? That doesn't go this way. Oh, my, Mrs. 
missing something. Yes, yes, you are. You're missing a key. to break though. said we weren't going to play it very long and um, we've played it longer than some of the other games that we've had tonight so that was in this case zombies oh okay so now we're going to stay on this screen. Yes, we're going to stay on this screen and we're going to run. A Sega Saturn game, which may or may not be in Japanese. It's called Vampire Saviour. The Lord of Vampire. One assumes it's the Lord of Vampires. Let's see. Too big. So let's shrink it a little bit. Get it centred and then... Oh, it's a bit widescreen, isn't it? Nope. So, let's do that. Oh, that's probably near enough. Uh, okay, so, 
What? What have we got? It's got vampire in the title twice, so one assumes there'll be some vampires in it. Oh, oh, mini. But it's also got JP in brackets after it, which stands for Japan. Naked Japanese demon ladies. I wonder if it's connected to that Red Riding Hood we played last week. She, that one of those characters looked a bit Red Riding Hoodie. Oh, I'm gonna have to change my controls again. Oh. Certainly doesn't like this uh, this controller. Uh, okay, so Sega Saturn. Up, down, left, right. Start, that's easy. We've got a start. Left, right, we've got those buttons as well. A, B, we've got those. We don't have C. So let's make that one C. And then X, Y, Z. But we don't have a 3D control pad, so oh 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 hang on. Oh. Trigger left and trigger right. Oh, not with this computer. Controller. Not computer. I don't know why I said computer. Let's hope. Let's hope there's enough controls. Well, what have we got going on here? Oh bugger, it's another fighting game. Well, let's start with Red Riding Hood, shall we? Or Bulletta. Ooh, normal, turbo and auto. What's auto? I feel we should play a normal one first. There's nothing very vampire-y about this, is there? Oh, what a weird kick she's got. Andy with that stinger, isn't she? See, the thing with these games is as long as you've got an idea of what the controls do, which I can't always say that I do, but it doesn't matter if they're in Japanese, does it? Because it's like we know we know what the uh, we know what to do. Just hit the other person till they die. I mean, you might like to know what that says, but not necessary for the game. Now we're going to fight Felicia, who's a cat. Feline, Felicia, see? Felicia with hairy boobs, by the looks of it. That's a nice pitiful meow, isn't it? Right. 
Oh, she got me then. Oh, I see. Oh, she was giving me a chance and now she's just uh, decided against it. Caught. Oh, I don't know what that was, but geez, it looked vicious. Oh no. Get you in the basket. Yeah, that's what she said. That's what that right says. Gonna get you with my basket. Morrigan. Another half naked demoness. Oh, 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 get down, get down, get down. No, I did that one. Avoiding it, is there? Oh, oh, slap, slap across the face. Oh, oh. Riding hood with an Uzi. So she's got a, a basket of doom and she swings around your neck and cuts your throat. Wow, it's not the Red Riding Hood, are you? Brilliant. Wait, uh. Iron Horse, Iron Terror. What big hands you have? No, I like you put in the corner. I don't think we want that bloody um, special attack happening on us, do we? Oh, 
Whipping out all the special moves now. Oh, come on. come to an end at some point. Um, I don't think we need to continue that, do you? That was, it's a fighting game! No vampires involved, unless some of them were vampires, maybe. My lack of Japanese vampire knowledge is showing through. Well, 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 well. Vampire saviour on the Saturn. On the Saturn. Um, so I did have some trigger buttons missing, maybe. Maybe that might have helped. Um, but we still got two more games to do. So let's call them up now. Um, PSP. PSP, you say? I do, I do, I say PSP. So, let's move to the um, Halloween widescreen telly. <sighs> so, PSP games. Um, we have two PSP games for you this evening. The first one is called Infected. Perhaps too much, let's see. That'll do, that'll do, pig. Okay, so, Infected. Sounds Halloween-y, doesn't it? Um, might be short of trigger buttons for this as well. We'll have to see. And with that, fellow citizens and friends of New York, let me York. say that this is going to be a great Christmas. Cheers to Christmas game. Oh my. Own. season ever find out at 11 <laughs> okay oh of course we need to um we need to set up our controller don't we because it doesn't remember this one ever for anything uh psp Oh, now you see it has got them in, so why is it not working? Why? Why is it not working? Oh, of course it's got a... Well, I've got, a, I've got an analog stick with this, so... It should be all right. But it isn't working with it. D-pad. North. Analog. Up, down, left, right. Um. Start. 
select. I've run out of buttons. Um, let's do trigger for buttons. All right, so. So. Ah, okay. What, really? Oh. Oh, wow. an awful lot of messing around. See what it plays Dr. Like, Schaefer really. from the New York bio team. Earlier today, New York was attacked by some kind of killer virus that turned everyone it touched into a flesh eating maniac. Everyone except you. When you were bitten, you discovered that you're immune to this virus. But that's not <coughs> all. Your blood is so powerfully immune that if we get just a drop inside an infected body, splat, they explode. Here, let me show you. The yellow glow around this one means he's at full health. Shoot yellow infected with your ballistic weapon to get them ready to splat. Now that he's wounded, he turns red. When infected or red, you can kill them with your viral gun. Your viral gun is powered by your blood, so be careful how you use it. Okay, let's move on. If you get several red infected near each other, you can kill them all with one shot. Very good. Again, you must use both of your guns to kill the infected. Ballistic gun wounds them, viral gun splats them. Okay, I think you're ready to get out there and stop the infected. Yeah, you reckon? All right, let's do it then. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Not you, Commissioner. Officer Stevens. The system is incredible, like you're sitting right next to me. I am. Officer Stevens. Kill all the infected. Oh, use the analog stick to move and turn. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, this is difficult to control. Probably because I ran right up to him. Do you reckon? I think so. Oh, I can't see it. It's not really the controls. Wow, I can't see it.
shit. Shit. Anyway. No, no, no. Oh, the chasers. Chasers. I wish you could play this as a sniper. I wonder if I just ran. Oh. It's good to say, I wonder if I just ran around the corner. Although it does say kill the infected. Is that what it says? Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh no, can't go down there. Right. Spawning on the ground, like. Can't get away from Okay. 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 New upgrades are available for research. Yeah, but not by me, they're not. Because um I think we're probably done for playing infected. And we're moving on to our last game of the evening. So let me get you a screen. This is called Nights in the Nightmare. Also on the PSP. Please don't tell me you've just wiped all my settings for my controller. Motherfucker. Possibly not. Possibly not. So do you think it's night about nights? Do you think it's, you know, medieval? Ah, oh, it's Japanese-esque again, isn't it? There's a certain feel of the Orient. the button to cancel it. Yeah, I can't see us playing this for very long, can you? No. Oh, 
Oh, I left tutorial turned on, didn't I? Do you know what? Maybe I played these in the wrong order. Should have played this and then played the zombie thing. And more end on a Halloweeny one rather than a whatever this is. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit like I can't be asked with this. So if it doesn't get to story very uh, to game very soon. More battling. More battling. What's going on? What? Do you know what? I'm sorry, knights in the nightmare. I'm giving you short shrift as I turn you off and say, no, no, we're not. We're going to say goodbye instead. Yes. That's the end of the show. Um, whoa, dear. So, thank you for joining us on a Monday night from 7 o'clock on Twitch. If you're watching us on YouTube, thank you also. Um, Evergreen on YouTube, you can watch it whenever you want. And um, we're there as Snug Radio, believe it or not, because this is Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. So, you can email us. Retro at snugradio.co.uk That's the website snugradio.co.uk Easy to remember We're all over the internet As, guess what, Snug Radio Yeah, I know, right? Um, YouTube, as we've said Twitch, as we've also said And Twitter, Facebook and TikTok As Snug Radio All those places you can find us And um, talk to us and stuff But if you want to get to get really into it we have a discord server there'll be a link and the show notes for this show um where you can join our discord server and it's not just retro games it's all all of the snug radio network um so there's you know there's that um so that's all the things about getting in touch with us uh, if if you want if if you want to see any of the games you've seen tonight um again then contact us on one of these places and just ask and we'll have it add it to the re-list, the revisit list. Um, especially, you know, if you... I know I didn't give Knights in the, in the Nightmare a fair crack of the whip, but but if you want to see it and you, and you emailed us, then we'll have a look for you. Um, 
However, right, if you want to get some cool merch, uh, lots and lots of stuff going on uh, on uh, Nutty Cluster, who is moderator extraordinaire. She has a shop called Inky Inspiration. Um, it's on Redbubble, and there'll be a link, and you'll be able to buy all sorts of cool stuff. Um, Christmas, Christmas is coming, um, and it will be, you know, super happy. Uh, Naughty Cluster would be super happy if you did all your Christmas shopping on her, not all of it, half of it. If you did half your Christmas shopping on her Redbubble store, then she would be very happy. And then we want you to do the rest of your Christmas shopping on my Redbubble store, which is the Glorious Idiot. Yes. Um, there's uh, all sorts of things. There's, you're bound to find something for anybody in, in your family. If you want to do some Christmas shopping at either of those stores, you'd make us really happy. You would. You would. Um, so that's those two. So it only remains for me to say. We'll be back at the same time, same place, and next week with our last Halloween, a last grouping of horror games. And um, yeah, we'll see you then. So, this has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. I've been Math. Until next time, play something retro. Goodbye.